close your eyes and try to bring your mind into alignment with the body. Connect them with the breath. When they're in alignment, they can help each other. When they're not in alignment, each goes its separate ways and both suffer. The mind suffers because it doesn't have a really good place where it can stay. It doesn't have a real home for itself. It's always exposed to things outside. The body suffers because there's nobody really looking after it. The mind comes in. It's like the owner of a house who doesn't really stay at home. Come in, change your clothes, go out someplace else. And if you're not staying there, you don't get too particular about what shape it's in. Things can become a real mess inside. And as long as you have a place where you can go for a little bit and then run out, then you're okay. And so you don't notice, you know, when there are mice in the walls and other things happening in the house that are bad for it. But if you stay there, you begin to notice that this is not right, that's not right, that there's something needs to be done. You start becoming a repairman. Clean things up, fix whatever is not quite right, because you've got to stay here. It's when you stay that you begin to notice what's wrong, and then you can do something about it. And then when the mind has a place like this, then it really can settle in and has a home. It's protected from the wind and the rain outside, protected from the cold, protected from the heat. Because really ease for the mind is not having to move. Imagine what our minds would be like if we hadn't any, didn't have any suffering at all, even the slightest little bit. There wouldn't be much we'd have to do. It's because we suffer that we're running around all the time. When you're not suffering, you can stay where you are and be happy. Some Jains once accused the Buddha of misrepresenting things. They were saying pleasure has to be found through pain. If pleasure were found through pleasure, then the king, King Basanity or King Bimbisara, would have more pleasure than the king than the Buddha. And the Buddha said, "Okay, you, you said that rashly without thinking." He asked, asked them if the king could just sit totally motionless for seven days and seven nights and still be happy. And they said no. And the Buddha said he could, because happiness for the mind lies in the stillness. Nati santi barang sukang. There is no other happiness than peace. So they give the mind a good place to stay, and the body will benefit as a result. It's like the house. It benefits from having its owner stay there in the house instead of just coming around every now and then. You're on top of things, and you can detect when something's going wrong, if things are beginning to rot here, or if there's a, an in insect infestation or whatever. You notice as soon as it happens, and you can take care of it right away. So both sides benefit, so try to bring them into alignment, and then try to keep them in alignment as much as you can. <laughs>